Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another bomb diggy bath demo. Um, and today we're doing a demo on drunk in love bath bomb, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, as you can see, there's a cute little rosebud in there with some beautiful shiny silver stars. I think this bath bomb is super, super cute. Um, as you can see, there's like a little uh, specks of roses in there, I believe, and looks like a little bit of cocoa butter. So I'm going to set that down and read to you in the description what it's all about. I don't want that rolling in. Oh my gosh. Okay. It smells super, super good, by the way, but I'm going to tell you that it's in the description. It says, get tipsy with sparkling champagne and zinging lime oils in a myriad of shimmering gold and silver water. Oh, I'm super excited for that gold and silver water. So here's the ingredients if you guys are interested. Um, to me, this really does smell like bubbly, kind of fizzy scent. Um, to me, I smell a hint of Coca-Cola. It kind of has that kind of sweet smell to it. It smells super good, and there's something about it that smells super relaxing as well. So this bath bomb would make a great Valentine's Day gift. Um, per Valentine's Day, for those who love bath bombs and taking baths and whatnot, so romantic. So I'm going to go ahead and plop that in. I can smell the fragrance already. Oh, there's the little rose. Spinning pretty fast and it's nice and frothy. I noticed a lot of Bomb Diggy's bath bombs are really frothy. Um, I really, really love that kind. I know a lot from Lush. You put them in and they just fizzle away so quick. Um, you feel like you don't even get your money's worth. See ya. So relaxing just to watch the bath bomb spin. And so far the bath water is pretty light colored. This is a really nice, strong smelling bath bomb, which is good because I don't like bath bombs that don't really smell. Um, some smell outside of the water and then you put them in and it's like they have no scent at all. But this company really is good at making their products really strong scented. Um, so you're going to get that nice relaxing fragrance as well. And it's fizzing away We're nice and slow, so you can kind of relax as you're laying in your bathtub. If you guys are interested in trying this Valentine's Day bath bomb, go ahead and click below down in the description on the link that I've posted for the website. I'm so obsessed with this company. I love everything that I've tried so far. There wasn't anything that I didn't like. I know some of you um, like to watch the bath bomb the whole time, so just for that reason, I'm going to keep the camera rolling. Um, if you guys don't have enough patience, you can go ahead and fast forward a little bit to the end results. I'm super excited for Valentine's Day. Um, just a fun day to celebrate um, your relationship or friendship or whatever. Now it's starting to speed up a little bit more. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that one. Oh. 
Ooh. Awesome. Ooh. Interesting. I bet that's where all the gold or the silver water is going to come from. In that little volcano. It's so cool looking. My gosh, I'm like tempted to tip that over, but I don't want to wreck it. Oh my gosh, I think I, I want to pick it up because I feel like it's going to just sit there a while. Wow, there's a lot of bath bomb left. Wow. I had to get a little bit more water in there, otherwise it was just going to sit there a while. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Oh, and I see a star in there. See it? This bath bomb is one of the longest lasting bath bombs I've had from her. Not that it's a bad thing. Some people enjoy um, watching it in their bathtub for a long time. But sorry if this is getting to be a long video, but it's so, it's so interesting. And then it's leaving a little trail behind. It really smells a little bit like Coca-Cola and that fizziness to it. I can smell it in the scent. Seems like a lot of the silver color is starting to come out more now. As you can see right there. For those of you who don't enjoy waiting so long while you're in the bath for your bath bomb to fizz away, you can um, put it in your tub probably 10 minutes ahead of time before you get in the bath but you're not really getting to see what your bath bomb is doing oops sorry that soap always is falling in there <laughs> so it seems like this is gonna take quite a while um, so if anything new happens I'm gonna go ahead and show you but for now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back with the end results, or if anything new happens, be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I noticed that there is a really nice sized rosebud in there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. How romantic is that? Wow. So, oh, look at that. Awesome. No, it seems to be taken off again. I probably had the camera paused probably two minutes. Um, awesome. Go back in here a little bit more. Now it's shooting out a bunch of bubbles. Wow, this is super long-lasting bath bomb, which is awesome. Nice. It's shooting out a 
bunch of froth. Here's that rose bud. Pretty. Let's see how much is left. Whoop. Oh, it's just the outer shell now. So I'm going to show you guys the results then after I mix this up. I've been forgetting to mix up my water and show you guys more of the glitter and like lusters of beautiful glitter that's been in the water. Sorry for that, but a lot of these bath bombs, you really have to look closely in the water and you'll see beautiful glitter clouds, which is super like magical. So this is kind of a light gold color to me. Well, I'm sure if I'm like looking in the water, I'm going to see some glitter or something. Um, but I don't know if you guys can really see anything in there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this Bomb Diggy Drunk in Love Bath Bomb demo. I really, really enjoyed it and can't wait to try this bath out. I hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.